we already have the toolpath and material so we can run a simulation we have several types of simulation and for now we will focus on two of them the first one is called simulation and the other is solid simulation we can run the simulation in several different ways the first of them is the from the view tab we can choose the appropriate type of simulation the second way is to run the simulation is the solid simulation tab in the project manager and here we can run simulation and another way is to right click in the work area and select appropriate option for the simulation okay the first option is simulation and the next option is solid simulation now let's choose the simulation option and here in the project manager the simulation tab has been automatically opened and to start the simulation click the start simulation button okay as you can see in this simulation mode we only see the model of the tool drawing the toolpath you cannot see the material being removed here it would seem that this simulation mode is useless but this mode has a great advantage when analyzes the machining the tool is visible and the geometry to be machined is also visible by running a simulation for example step by step we can quite accurately observe the position of the tool at specific moment and to run the simulation step by step select the single step mode okay and run the simulation and now we can observe xyz coordinates and machining parameters here okay on the left side of this button is the operation by operation button and this is a simulation mode in which after each operation the simulation will be stopped until the start simulation button is pressed again here we have only one operation so for this geometry i create separate operation select move to on operation okay we have two operation here let's back to simulation select operation by operation and now this is the first operation and to run second operation i have to start simulation again okay this mode of simulation is very fast and for an experienced programmer often the shape of toolpaths in relation to geometry are sufficient information and next type of simulation is solid simulation so let's choose this option okay let's run the simulation okay after running simulation we see how the material is removed and this simulation will show us the final results of the machining which gives an idea of what the part will look like after machining at this point it is worth mention about some functions available in the simulation we can control the speed of simulation using this slider here is the slider for the stock transparency 
we can hide a little to have a better image of toolpaths or the tool itself. Here is the slider for tool transparency. And here we have slider for holder transparency. We have no holder yet. And here we have the coordinates and feed rate and spindle revolution value at specific machining point. Okay, and to close the simulation you have to press this button close simulation and sometimes this button is also available here.